everybody, Space Junkie here. I hope you're all keeping well. Doing a video today on some cargo running. So I'm down on Microtech at uh, Shubin SMO10. Uh, just going to have a look and see what supplies they have. Now, if you haven't done this before, obviously you need... You don't need a massive ship, but obviously a ship with a decent cargo hold will always help. Um, so and we're looking at something like Beryl or something like that to try and fill the ship. So you go to the building with the name above. It's got a name on the top of the door. You need to go into one that says storage. It's normally a red building uh, with a like red totem pile outside. So straight away we've got a decent amount of barrel here by the looks of it. So what you need to do is you need to select the ship. I'm in my Taurus. Select obviously the bits you want to buy. I'm going to buy obviously the barrel. That's 174 SCU. So I'm going to buy that. That's going to cost me 385. Confirm. Accept. There we go. So I've got a full ship now. In my Constellation Taurus. That's exactly what we want. Don't want to obviously be taking many, many different routes and obviously stopping off at many, many different places. But sometimes you have to. It's just the nature of the beast. So there's a website called UEX. That's UEX. And you can actually build your trade runs on there and it also tells you your profit and all that sort of stuff. Um, so I've just come to Microtech because I was actually in the area. I've been running some bunkers. I thought I'd just uh, use the opportunity to look at doing some a trade run or two. Uh, and also what you can do is you can actually see on UEX all the commodities that you can actually sell. So you can build your route see where you need to buy it from and also the best places to sell it so currently the best place to sell barrel is uh, Orison um, TDD so that's where I'm gonna be heading next to maximize my profit let's just get ourselves out of here hopefully let's do my quantum fuel now obviously the more expenses the commodity you buy the more investment you have, the more risk obviously you have to obviously uh, get pirated and all that sort of stuff. But obviously, you know, it's part of uh, what we do when it comes to uh, doing some cargo runs. Adds a bit of excitement, a bit of anxiety to the game. But it's good fun. Um, it's, it is quite a nice, easy game loop. All we've got to worry about is pirates, basically. So we want to get ourselves over to Orison. Uh, Morrison. That sounds up and away. And the gear up. Gear coming up. And the gear raised. What you can do is, you can actually just then, once we get to Orison, we can sell our goods there, then we look at obviously what commodities that you can purchase around, uh, obviously Crusader, and then then just build another route. So around Crusader you might want to buy things, I don't know, get to Daymar you can buy gold from Shubin uh, SCD1 I think it is on Daymar. Uh, and you literally just keep going from obviously all the different planets, all the different moons and that sort of stuff and just keep doing like nice, nice loops. So what I do is... Uh, I'm hopefully going to get us, us get us to uh, Orison with no dramas. I'll bring you guys back in once we're there. I'll see you very, very soon. Okay, guys, so we've got to Orison. Just going to dock the ship. And then I'll show you where and how to find the TDD here. I'll bring you guys back in once we've stored our ship. See you in a sec. Okay, so we stored our ship. Now there is obviously a way you need to go. But from the terminals, you need to run straight towards, and we're bare left. Because what we're doing is we're heading towards the Skyway Transit. And we're just going to follow this all the way around. Through security. Steps. When we get to these lifts, we need to obviously get to the shuttle station. This dude's doing. And on or off. The shuttle is preparing to depart. So once we're here, 
we actually want the Providence platform and not obviously the cloud view center. We're going to come to the left. Providing connections to all major platforms. Crusader 54 seconds. To offer free and convenient transit. Approaching the station. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. Get off. Run straight up through the middle. Now whenever you get here, if you look for the great big hospital building, the TDD is to the left of that. So we're going to just bear left, Last call for passengers. go across this little platform. Straight ahead of us, you can see straight away, is the TDD. Once we're on here, select our ship. Select the barrel we want to sell. There we go. And I sell that. Make ourselves a little bit of profit. Again, just a really nice, simple run. Just to sell, obviously, some barrel. Someone else obviously doing the same. There's a few screens around here that obviously you can do. Now what we can do is, we can get back to our ship. We can probably head down to somewhere like Daymar. Um, see if we can pick up, I don't know, some gold or something like that. And then we'll obviously head on to the next station to uh, see if we can sell that as well. But again, guys, it's, it's a very, very easy um, game loop. But obviously what you've got to be wary of is the pirates. Uh, and obviously the more risk you take, the more money you invest, obviously the, the more chance you've obviously got of losing a lot more money. So I would just say um, start off small, get used to some trade loops, get your confidence up and that sort of stuff. Um, there's a bit of a rule of thumb that people say don't invest all of your money you know invest up to half of what you've actually got still in the bank if you want to go that high then obviously you're not left absolutely penniless so um guys what i'll do is i will do another couple of runs which i'll add on as well um and obviously uh so yeah let's uh, see how else we can do today so let me just uh, get to our ship and we'll have a look at what we're going to do next So what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm just going to uh, bring up the website and I'm going to show you how you build the actual routes using UEX. Once I've shown you that, obviously we'll uh, come back to the ship. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Hey guys, so this is the website, UEX. So what you've got along on here, so what you need to do is, is select your ship first of all. Uh, so we have a constellation Taurus. Uh, and then across the top here, you can see all the different things that you can buy and sell. So if you decided you want to do something like a Grissium, go to where it says, obviously, buy at. You can actually see exactly where you can buy it. And then obviously, it will also go to then where you can sell it. And obviously, it tells you roughly your profit there. Obviously, you can obviously add things in like fuel expenses and time and all that sort of stuff. But the thing to keep in mind is, obviously, this is your buying price just on the end here. If you buy it from Shubin, it will cost you 2183 And then if you sell it at Orison TDD, which is the top is always the best priced and obviously the best for selling, uh, and you will get 2688 back uh, and roughly giving you a profit of 87870 providing you fill the Constellation Taurus with 174 SCU. So that's a full load. All right. So obviously, just li little things to keep in mind. Uh, obviously, meds we can do. Um, so if we went to something like Deakins, obviously, this would be the worst price you could buy it for. Uh, and then look at how many here. So you could sell it, you know, like Herlau 5, which is nearby. Um, and again, a quick turnaround profit of 48000 there, even obviously playing, uh, obviously, a little bit more. If you can buy it from Hicks um, Research Center, obviously, it boosts the profit to 62640 so just a couple of examples there of obviously things you can buy. Uh, and again, it literally lists everything, guys. All right. So anyway, I hope that uh, makes sense. Uh, website is obviously in the top left-hand corner, uexcorp.space. Really, really good website. and Very, very helpful. All right, guys. So anyway, let's get back to the actual main game. Hey, guys, welcome back. So we, as we've just looked at, we're going to do a meds run. Uh, so we'll see obviously what we've got. Now the first place we're going to go and we highlighted was Hicks Research uh, Centre, uh, which is on yellow. So obviously we're going to plot our course for there. 
I'll bring you guys back in once we're actually on the moon and actually at the centre. So I'll see you in a sec. So again, we come to the terminal. Select our Taurus. We're going to buy medical supplies. Once again, we've got enough to fill the ship. We're going to buy that. Accept. We've got a full ship now with medical supplies. Let's see if there's any... Uh, Boxes for drink up here. Please. All right, let's get back to our ship. Now, I don't know if you know, but these little white markers that are in the sky, apparently that is markers to say that people have been um, pulled out of quantum drive. So again, just a little note there to keep in mind. Obviously, if you're heading directly for something like that, you are running a stronger risk of being pulled out of quantum drive. So just bear that in mind, guys, alright? That's what those white markers mean. Hey guys, one thing I completely forgot to overlook, and I will obviously highlight it to uh, bring up to your attention. Do not forget about supply and demand. So keep in mind that obviously we went on to UEX and we looked at obviously Hurl L5 and thinking obviously that's, you know, we're going to get amazing profits uh, from those meds. Uh, however, obviously they only wanted 10 SCU of cargo. So you've got to think about obviously the planets and where, you, you know, where's going to obviously need that demand so um, not too bad we're going to sell it here uh, I've had to come down to area 18 um, and we're going to sell it for 1.924 I think rather than 1.935 uh, so just uh, yeah guys just do keep that in mind um, I'm not used to cargo running but again just I'll bring it to your attention just so you don't fall in, into the, you know the same sort of mistake that I nearly made um, but obviously yeah just think about supply and demand and who's going to obviously going to want this all right so I hope that helped, guys. Uh, Going to obviously sell this now. Turn into a bit of profit, thankfully. Always helps. Done. All right. So, guys, I hope this has been, uh, again, something that's been helpful to you. Uh, I'm not a cargo runner, um, but obviously it's something I've seen a few people message, actually, in the uh, general chat channel while in-game, uh, asking for some help regarding cargo runs. Uh, so again, I hope this helps. I hope you've enjoyed the video and the content. Please do keep subscribing, guys. Um, the support has been absolutely fun, fun, uh, you know, phenomenal. Really, really do appreciate all the help. Uh, that Obviously, the guys are giving me the background, Rog and Ida Loki. You guys are absolutely superb. So thank you so much for all the help you're giving me. Uh, do keep liking. Do keep commenting on the videos. And I will uh, hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye for now.